Assalamualaikum everyone. This is a brand new series of the React. In this video, I will explain you what is React, why React, and what are the features of the React. Let's jump into the first topic. What is React? React is an open source, component-based, front-end library which is only responsible for the application's web layer. In shortly, React is exclusively used for client-side programming. So let's take a look at an example to understand how React works. This is an Instagram page. In here, you will see search bar, profile description, stories, single post and post list. If I take this entire page as a user interface, this single portion act as individual component into the user interface. And also, those individual components has its properties and function. So now you have the clear idea how React view in client's perspective and also the front-end developer's view. Let's move on and see why React is most popular front-end library for web and mobile application development. Here are the basic reasons. One reason is it is easier to develop dynamic applications because it requires less coding and offer more functionality for developers. Another reason is reusable component. As I mentioned before, React application is usually collection of multiple components. Each component consists their own logic and control, and they can be reused throughout the application. And another reason is React can be used for both web and mobile application development. We already know React is used for web development. But there's another framework called React Native derived from React itself is used for mobile application development. Another basic reason is unidirectional data flow. React follow a unidirectional data flow. This means when developer design a React app, it is often develop child component within a parent component. It makes developer to debug errors and find out where the problem occur in an application. Throughout this video, you got the idea about what is React and why React is most popular front-end library among front-end developers. Now let's familiarize with our last topic, it is React Features. There are two main React features. One is JSX and another one is Virtual DOM. JSX stands for JavaScript Syntax Extension. It is used with React to describe what the user interface should look like. Virtual DOM it is a virtual representation of the DOM. Every time the state in our application changes, the virtual DOM gets updated instead of the real DOM. To understand the concept behind real DOM and virtual DOM, let's go to the visual representation. React follows the observable pattern and listen for state changes. When the state of the component changes, React updates the virtual DOM tree. Once the virtual DOM has been updated, React then compares the current version of the virtual DOM with the previous version of the virtual DOM. This process is called Diffie. Once React knows which virtual DOM objects have changed, then React updates only those objects in the real dog. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video.